David Walliams has been a familiar face on our screens for years, enchanting audiences with his undeniable charm and talent. From his uproarious performances on the beloved comedy series Little Britain to his role as a judge on Britain's Got Talent, he became a household name and a beloved favorite. David appeared to have it all, a flourishing career, fame, and the adoration of millions. However, as the saying goes, even the brightest stars can face setbacks. In recent times, David's journey has taken an unexpected twist, leaving his once unshakable popularity in question. Keep watching as we delve into the real story behind David Walliam's departure from Britain's Got Talent and uncover the reasons behind his decision to step down from his role as a judge on the reality show. David Walliams, born on August 20, 1971, in London as David Edward Williams, displayed a natural talent for bringing laughter to people's lives from a young age. His early passion for the performing arts led him to pursue drama studies at the University of Bristol, where he embarked on a journey to further hone his comedic skills as both an actor and a writer. During his time at the university, he became a part of the prestigious comedy group known as the Footlights, which boasted famous alumni such as John Cleese and Stephen Fry. It was within this esteemed group that David Walliams refined his comedic timing, solidifying his status as a rising star in the comedy circuit. However, it was his collaboration with fellow comedian and actor Matt Lucas that catapulted him to stardom. Together, they created the groundbreaking sketch comedy show, Little Britain, which made its debut in 2003. The series struck an immediate chord with audiences, showcasing David's remarkable versatility and comedic genius. His uncanny ability to breathe life into unforgettable characters and seamlessly transform into various personalities quickly elevated him to the status of a household name throughout the UK. The phenomenal success of Little Britain marked just the beginning of David Walliams' flourishing career. His creative prowess extended into the realm of literature, where he ventured as a best-selling author, delighting readers of all ages with his hilarious and heartwarming stories. Some of his popular literary works include titles like Gangster Granny, Mr. Stink, Awful Auntie, and many more, each contributing to his growing reputation as a versatile and engaging storyteller. David's remarkable journey in the entertainment industry didn't stop at comedy and writing. In 2012, he took on a new role as a judge on the immensely popular reality show Britain's Got Talent. For over a decade, he became a beloved staple of the show, endearing himself to audiences with his quick wit and playful banter, particularly with his co-judge Simon Cowell. David's lively and fun-loving demeanor provided a delightful contrast to Simon's more serious judge persona, making him an essential and cherished part of the show's appeal. Throughout his remarkable 10-year tenure on Britain's Got Talent, David Walliams etched a lasting impression with some of the most hilarious and heartwarming moments the show had ever seen. One particularly touching instance exemplified his deep empathy for contestants. During an audition, a young singer named Malachi Paul found himself overwhelmed with nerves, leading to tears as he began his performance. David sprang into action, rushing to the stage to comfort the emotional boy and provide the much-needed encouragement for him to continue. This heartwarming interaction not only showcased David's genuine compassion, but also highlighted his knack for uplifting contestants during their most challenging moments. In contrast, David had a unique talent for injecting humor into the show, even during auditions. In one unforgettable audition, his remarks about a contestant's voice had the entire audience bursting into laughter. The contestant in question, Aaron, took on Disney's iconic hit, Let It Go, in a voice that could only be described as, well, monstrous. The shock was palpable as Amanda immediately hit the red buzzer in disbelief. However, David's response was classic. He humorously quipped that Aaron's voice was what he imagined the voice in Simon's head sounded like. 
Amusingly, he also granted the contestant a yes, propelling him to the next round. This instance highlighted David's ability to infuse the show with fun and lightheartedness, proving that he never took himself or the show too seriously, much to the delight of the audience. David's tenure on Britain's Got Talent was a testament to his versatility, seamlessly transitioning between heartwarming sincerity and uproarious humor, all while leaving an indelible mark on the show's legacy. That is why, when the news of David saying some objectionable things behind the scenes came to light, many people refused to believe it at first. The controversy surrounding David Walliams and Britain's Got Talent in 2022 created shockwaves when a Guardian expose revealed disturbing allegations against the longtime judge of the show. Walliams, who had been a fixture on the show since 2012, faced accusations of making derogatory and sexually explicit remarks about contestants during the show's auditions. These shocking comments came to light when recordings from an audition show at the London Palladium in January 2020 surfaced. In these recordings, Walliams was heard referring to one contestant with a highly offensive term and making explicit comments about another. Lawyers for Walliams and Thames TV, the production company responsible for Britain's Got Talent, argued that these remarks were part of a private conversation never intended for broadcast. The response to these allegations was swift, with ITV, the network that airs Britain's Got Talent, expressing strong disapproval of the language used in the leaked transcripts. The incident generated significant backlash, both from the public and within the industry. In response to the controversy, David Walliams issued a public apology, stating, I would like to apologize to the people I made disrespectful comments about during breaks in filming for Britain's Got Talent in 2020. These were private conversations and, like most conversations with friends, were never intended to be shared. Nevertheless, I am sorry. Thames TV, while regarding Walliam's comments as private, also acknowledged that his language had been inappropriate. They reminded him of the show's expectations as to future professional conduct. In light of the unfolding drama and the repercussions it had brought, David Walliams made the difficult decision to step down from his role as a judge on Britain's Got Talent. He acknowledged his responsibility for his conduct and opted to leave the show, marking the end of his long-standing association with the beloved reality series. In a surprising turn of events, it was revealed in September that David Walliams had filed a high court case against Fremantle Media, the production company responsible for Britain's Got Talent. This legal action came shortly after Walliams' departure from the show in January, raising questions about the circumstances surrounding his exit. Walliams has accused Fremantle Media of committing an unlawful data protection breach and is seeking various remedies, including the erasure of his personal data and damages for distress, loss of earnings, as well as what he described as psychiatric harm and loss of control of his private information. According to court documents, Walliams asserted that he and his fellow judges often engaged in casual conversations and light-hearted banter while off-camera, in between the segments of the show that were being filmed and recorded for inclusion in the live broadcast. It was customary for the judges not to remove their microphones until the filming had concluded for the day. However, what Walliams presumed was that he was only being recorded when contestants were performing on the stage or during specific behind-the-scenes filming. He alleges that private and personal conversations, including discussions about his struggles with food addiction, his father's passing, and his marital issues, might have been recorded by the production company without his knowledge or consent. The latest update on the case raises eyebrows as it has come to light that Fremantle Media was allegedly fully aware of the allegations when they extended a new $1 million contract offer to Walliams for the 2023 season of Britain's Got Talent.
Walliam's legal team, as outlined in court documents reported by The Guardian, claimed that Fremantle Media only withdrew the contract offer after the transcript of his private comments became public. In response to the legal action, Fremantle Media issued a statement expressing surprise and sadness over the situation. They emphasized their long-standing and productive relationship with David Walliams and their commitment to an amicable resolution of the matter through dialogue. However, they also noted their readiness to vigorously defend themselves if required. David Walliams and Simon Cowell, once known for their camaraderie as judges on Britain's Got Talent, have seen their relationship face challenges amid Walliams' legal action against the show's production company. While Walliams isn't suing Cowell himself, sources suggest that there has been a noticeable strain in their friendship as the court case unfolds. In a recent interview, Cowell addressed the controversy surrounding Walliams' departure from Britain's Got Talent. He explained that Walliams had chosen to step back from the show, and the decision appeared to have transpired rather swiftly. Cowell, who was on vacation at the time, found himself discussing Walliams' replacement shortly thereafter. While Cowell holds an executive producer role on the show, he emphasized that the final decision rested with the show's producers, who are more directly involved in the day-to-day -day operations. Regarding the controversial comments made by Walliams during auditions, Cowell expressed his disapproval. He revealed that he had not heard these comments before and found them upsetting. While acknowledging that the comments were unacceptable, Cowell also indicated that he did not believe such behavior was a constant feature of Walliams' conduct. The situation appears to have put some distance between the two former colleagues, as the fallout from the controversy and legal proceedings continues to unfold. David Walliams' battle with the repercussions of the leaked comments has taken a toll on his mental health, as detailed in the court documents. According to his psychiatrist, Dr. Mark Collins, the situation's impact on Walliams' mental well-being has been profound. As a result, he has been prescribed higher doses of medication than he was previously taking for conditions such as depression, anxiety, and poor sleep. The court papers assert that Walliams has been grappling with uncontrollable negative thoughts since the leak came to light. This ongoing struggle has left him in a state of constant concern, fearing that any unguarded comments he makes could be used against him. As a result, he has felt a loss of the ability to be spontaneous or edgy, qualities essential to his comedic persona. In essence, the leak has taken a toll on his ability to be funny, a core aspect of his public identity. In response to David Walliams stepping down from his role as a judge on Britain's Got Talent, the channel quickly announced that Bruno Tonioli, a renowned icon from Strictly Come Dancing, would be stepping in to fill the void. However, David was undeniably a judge who would be challenging to replace, primarily due to his cheery personality and entertaining on-screen antics. His infectious energy and playful banter with fellow judges had become a hallmark of the show. With the commencement of the new season, Bruno Tonioli's introduction was met with curiosity and anticipation. Yet Bruno's early actions on the show raised some eyebrows. He pressed the golden buzzer not once but twice, a move that is against the rules of the competition. The surprising part was that Bruno claimed he didn't fully understand how the golden buzzer worked, citing his unfamiliarity with the show. This unexpected turn of events left many wondering how long Bruno would remain on the judging panel. As for David Walliams, he has noticeably maintained a lower profile since his departure from the show. In the wake of the controversy surrounding his comments, he appears to be taking a more subdued approach. Recently, the comedian shared a picture on social media featuring his son dressed as the key character from his newly released book, Robo Dog. It seems that David may be attempting to show a softer and more family-oriented side to the public. However, some argue that the damage to his reputation has already been done, and the nation is still processing the impact of his comments. David Walliams has been actively seeking a new romantic partner in recent times. 
His previous marriage was to the model Lara Stone, and together they welcomed their son, Alfred. However, their relationship took a tumultuous turn, leading to a divorce in 2015, with Walliams citing unreasonable behavior on his then-partner's part. Their love story began in 2009, reportedly sparked by a chance encounter at a Chelsea football match. Lara, reminiscing about their initial date, confessed to feeling quite nervous. Yet, as the evening unfolded, they discovered a shared, wicked sense of humor that drew them closer. Lara's recollection, shared in Dutch Vogue, includes a charming detail where she texted David after the date to express her gratitude for the dinner. To her amusement, his response was a casual, Who's this? Their engagement was announced in January 2010, setting the stage for an extravagant wedding ceremony held at the prestigious Claridge's Hotel in London. This star-studded event attracted a glittering array of A-list guests, including iconic figures like Sir Elton John, Russell Brand, and Stephen Fry. The grandeur of their celebration was evident when, just four months after their initial wedding, they held a second ceremony at Claridge's, this time in the presence of close family and friends, with the festivities reportedly costing a substantial sum of £80,000. Despite their high-profile lives and the grandeur of their initial wedding, David Walliams was reportedly devastated by the divorce from Lara Stone in 2015. In the divorce proceedings, it was Lara who agreed to accept the blame, with David sitting her unreasonable behavior as the grounds for their separation. The end of their marriage marked a challenging period for the comedian and author. Since their separation, Lara Stone has moved forward in her personal life and found love once again. In 2018, she tied the knot with her new partner, David Grievison. Interestingly, their connection was formed through the world of modern dating as they connected on the popular dating app, Tinder. As for David Walliams, he is also actively seeking stability and companionship in his life. Allegedly, he has ventured into the realm of celebrity dating by joining the exclusive dating app, Raya. On his dating profile, it is said that he showcases pictures of himself with his two beloved border terriers, Bert and Ernie, providing a glimpse into his affection for his furry companions and his desire to make meaningful connections with like-minded individuals. Even as David Walliams wrapped up his successful stint on Britain's Got Talent, he didn't need to fret about his future job prospects, all thanks to his impressive array of successful projects. The accomplished comedian and author have amassed a substantial net worth estimated at around $25 million, a testament to his enduring success. A notable contributor to Walliams' financial prosperity was his role as a judge on Britain's Got Talent. Astonishingly, it was revealed in October 2020 that he had been earning a whopping £1.8 million for each season he participated in, an eye-opening revelation that sent ripples through the entertainment industry. This previously undisclosed information came to light when his co-hosts, Amanda Holden and Alicia Dixon, discovered that they were receiving significantly less compensation for their contributions to the show, despite shouldering an equal workload. Before the revelation, Amanda Holden had been earning £700,000 per season, while Alicia Dixon received £450,000 per season. The glaring pay disparity prompted Amanda and Alicia to advocate for equal pay, a move that led to Simon Cowell, their fellow co-host and the show's executive producer, agreeing to increase their salaries to match David Walliams' earnings per season. David Walliams has undergone a significant shift in his professional life since leaving Britain's Got Talent. His former role as a judge on the show has been filled by Bruno Tonioli, a former Strictly Come Dancing panelist marking a new chapter in the show's lineup. Since the news broke about his legal action against BGT, David Walliams has made some sporadic appearances. In September, he was spotted in North London, enjoying a coffee outing with Scott Mitchell. 
However, the comedian and author typically prefers to keep his family and personal life away from the public eye. He acknowledges the challenges that come with fame and the impact it may have on his child, Alfred, whom he shares with his former wife, Laura Stone. Speaking to Hello, David Walliams expressed his understanding of the implications of a high-profile career on his family. He recognized that being in the spotlight was an unavoidable aspect of his profession. However, he emphasized that his child's future choices remain unpredictable and they may opt for a private life. In such a scenario, the advantages of being in the public eye may not outweigh the desire for privacy. David Walliams' tenure as a judge on Britain's Got Talent can be described as a roller coaster ride filled with a mix of entertainment, controversy, and heartwarming moments. Despite the controversy, Walliams remained a beloved figure on the show. His impact extended beyond the realm of comedy as he formed genuine connections with contestants and showed his remarkable ability to uplift and encourage them during challenging moments. These heartwarming interactions added depth and humanity to the show, making him a judge who truly cared about the contestants' well-being and aspirations. David Walliams' legacy on Britain's Got Talent will be remembered as a complex one, marked by both highs and lows. While the controversy tarnished his image, his contributions to the show's entertainment value and his genuine connections with contestants left an indelible mark. His ability to bring laughter, joy, and empathy to the stage ensured that he remained a central figure in the show's history. In conclusion, David Walliams' time on Britain's Got Talent was a testament to the complexities of human nature. While he faced controversy, his ability to entertain and uplift contestants remained undeniable. Now, as he embarks on a new chapter in his career and personal life, it remains to be seen what the future holds for this talented comedian and author. What are your thoughts on David Walliams' journey on Britain's Got Talent? Do you believe in second chances and redemption? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this article, don't forget to like and subscribe for more engaging content on your favorite personalities and entertainment news. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.